Now we're going to take a look at one of the easiest ways to add internet connectivity to your Arduino prototyping project. In this example, I'll be showing you the Adafruit Huzzah. And the reason I like this little board is, first of all, it's compact. Second of all, and most importantly, it integrates the ESP8266 wireless module right here on the board. Now, if you're not familiar with the ESP8266, go online and read more about it. It's a fascinating little module. You can pick them up for a couple of dollars and integrate them into your Arduino project. This one happens to be integrated already with an Arduino microcontroller, and it makes it extremely easy to get online. And in this video, instead of showing you the typical, hey, here's how to install a board file in a library, which we've done over and over again, I thought we'd look at one of the projects that I created with the Feather Huzzah, and that's this. It's a cheer light, and it was code that you could find online, and it works with an online service called Things Speak, and it reads a Twitter feed, and it changes the lights according to what the tweet says. So inside here, if I open this up, you can see there are three NeoPixels, and right behind them is an Adafruit Feather Huzzah. That's it. That's all there is to this project. And let's see, maybe if I leave it, I'm trying to make it so that the camera can see it better. And maybe we'll put it like this just for the demo. And if I open up Twitter on my phone and I type in at cheer lights, there it is. Make them red. And I hit tweet. Hopefully in a few seconds, this should turn red. There you go. And there's not a lot of code involved or libraries or anything to make that happen. It relies on a website called Things Speak. But let's go ahead and open up the tutorial that I have online. If you go to adafruit.com and click on learn, you could just look for cheer light and you'll see my version of it. And many people have made these cheer lights. This just happens to be my build and how to. And when you go down and scroll, you can see there's a circuit, better pictures of what's inside there. There are the connections. I wrote them out to make it very simple. But this is what I want to talk about. Basically, you have to install the ESP82 core board support library. Done, not a big deal. Then you, ins then you install the Things Speak library and a NeoPixel library. So between those three libraries, I'm controlling the ESP8266. I'm controlling this board, the Feather board, and I'm talking to the ThingSpeak API. And basically what this board does is it connects to my local wireless network. It goes over to ThingSpeak. ThingSpeak has a little script that monitors a Twitter feed. And when it sees a color, it will come back to my little wireless module and tell my NeoPixels what color they need to be. And my tutorial covers exactly how to do that. And basically to get online, once you grab the code, you literally change my Wi-Fi name and my Wi-Fi password, and you'll be up and running. And then you have to point it to the URL. And in this case, it's going to an API of ThingSpeak. But it's just so self-explanatory and easy to understand. There's really not much to it. And you can get online in a matter of minutes, where in the past when I've created projects like Kitty Twitty, which was a cat toy that tweeted when the cat played with it and I used an ethernet shield, it took a lot longer to figure out how to make that work with Twitter. With an ESP8266 or a board like the Feather Huzzah, your prototype can get online in a matter of minutes and it's very reliable, very easy, and it really opens up a whole new world of possibilities with your Arduino prototype.